guys, so this is my very first cooking video, so if you guys want to see more cooking videos, then please let me know, and I would love to do them, but today's video is going to be kind of a apple-topped cheesecake. I did find this recipe off of allrecipes.com, I'll link it below, but I did modify it, so I will put my version down below as well. But you're going to need about a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs, about two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. You're also going to need a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter, three packages, or three eight ounce packages of cream cheese. These are softened already. You're gonna need three eggs, um, about a tablespoon, or ta teaspoon of vanilla, and about four cups of th peeled, cored, and thinly sliced apples. And then of course, the spring form pan. That's kind of like the star of any type of cheesecake recipe. Um, I always line mine with um, tin foil just in case, you know, the seal's not tight. I don't want to make a mess in my oven. So, all right, how to make the crust. All right, for this, you just, I took an entire sleeve of the graham crackers um, and I put it into a food processor. But you don't have to use a food processor if you don't want to. You can use whatever a hammer, a blender whatever you want, or you can pre-buy, pre-buy, you can buy the crumbs themselves, but I use a food processor. And then you wanna add about a teaspoon of cinnamon, and you're gonna to wanna to, uh, add a, quor or a, a quarter of a cup of melted butter. And yeah. And now I'm just kind of pulsing it and blending it all together. You can see that it's starting to get really crumbly and really moist and sticking together a little bit more. And um, your final mixture is gonna look like this. And so then I just kind of tossed it right on into the spring form pan. And I use my fingers to uh, make sure that it's evenly distributed um, among the bottom of the pan. You want it to be an even surface, I guess you can say. Um, don't worry, my hands are clean, you know, number one rule of cooking. Um, and then I used a clean cup, the bottom of it, to pack down my crust mixture because you want it to be, you know, packed together. And it should look like that in the end. And then you want to put it into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes and let it cook. While your crust is cooking, you can make the cheesecake. And for the cheesecake, you're gonna need three packages of the softened cream cheese. My cream cheese had been sitting out for a while, but it did not wanna leave that package. I don't know why. And then once you get all three in there, you're gonna to wanna to put about two thirds of a, of a cup of white sugar. I don't know why I blanked right there. Um, but yeah, you wanna put that right in there, put the lid on the food processor, and then let the food processor do its job and blend those together and you want to blend them together until it's a creamy consistency kind of like you see and then after that you want to add each egg one at a time and that's important that's kind of one of the cardinal rules of cheesecakes you want to add the eggs one at a time and let them you know kind of blend together on their own now for me um, what I'm about to do is that like my cheesecake didn't completely blend together um, so I took a spatula and uh, made sure that like all of the edges um, were completely incorporated into the batter because there's nothing worse than having chunky parts of the cheesecake. Am I right or am I right? Um, and then afterwards I added a teaspoon of vanilla extract and blended that all together and this is kind of what it looks like when you're all done. And then you want to pour the cheesecake mixture on top of your cooked crust that you already made. And um, I have a towel down on my countertops because, I mean, it was a hot pan and I rent this apartment. I would like my security deposit back and not burn my countertops. So, then once you're all done with that, put your cheesecake mixture to the side and we're going to start on the topping. All right. To make the topping, it's really, really simple. You just want a cinnamon sugar mixture. So I took a half a cup of white sugar and then about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Um, my measurements are super precise right there. And I was measuring in a mug. So do as I say, not as I do. Um, yeah, should probably have measured that. 
but uh, you just kind of quickly mix it together and then you're going to sprinkle the cinnamon sugar mixture on top of your four cups of apples and then just kind of toss them to make sure that all of the apples have that cinnamon sugar concoction um, you know evenly coating each and every apple because that's gonna make it really flavorful when you're all done. And now for this, I tried to be artsy, I tried to be fancy, and I tried to do a little bit of like a pinwheel shape where I just kind of kept going in a circle all around the cheesecake. I mean, you guys will see in a minute. But, um, you know, you don't have to do this, and actually, in the end, anyways, um, it didn't really turn out as great, and plus, a lot of people just add, you know, whipped cream to the top, so you can do that too. But you're going to, once you're done putting the apples on top, you're going to want to put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 60 to 70 minutes. And then once the, you know, hour is up, turn your oven off but don't open it and just leave the cheesecake in there and leave it in until the oven is completely cooled. That is a great way to get a really creamy cheesecake and um, don't worry if you're confused, I'll type all this out in the bottom bar and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And then, even though this recipe called for four cups of apples, I think that's way too much and I had all this left over, so I just baked them up and that was it. So you're all done. This is kind of what it looks like when you're all finished. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want more cooking videos. All right, have a good day, guys.